Using a device that can do this movement can be a game changer. And a stylet can't do it. Stick around if you want to know what I mean. When using a standard geometry blade like the Macintosh blade, the idea is to produce a straight line from the mouth opening to the vocal cords. See, I can now see the vocal cords both on the screen as well as directly through the mouth. In contrast, when using hyperangulated blades like the D-blade, we don't worry about producing a straight line. We just move around the tongue. But that leaves us as at a position where we're looking up at the glottis now. So in order to smoothly go into the trachea, we have to navigate the second curve. The first curve, is around the tongue. Second curve is in the opposite direction down into the trachea. What adds to the complexity is that as humans we tend to forget what we no longer see. Once we've passed the first curve, the tongue, with our device and we clearly see the glottis on the screen, we tend to forget that that first curve is still there. So whatever movement we want our intubation aid to do on the screen, it will still have to navigate around the tongue, still has to navigate around the first curve. So what we need now is what Sean Runnels calls the serpentine movement. Our device has to move like a snake around the tongue and then down into the trachea. There are many possible techniques that we can use to navigate the second curve, which I will show in different videos. One very convenient technique is to twist the device 180 degrees once we've navigated the first curve. So we come around the tongue like this and we now twist the device 180 degrees in order for it to smoothly go down into the trachea. And in order to do this twisting movement, you need a soft device like a bougie, where you can do this twirling movement I showed at the beginning of the video. You will never be able to do this with a rigid device like a stylet, or in this case, the S-Guide, because the curve that you have in here it's just rigidly there and you can't turn it around. You can only turn the entire device. Remember, the tongue is still there. So once we've passed it, we cannot turn it because we would have to cut out the tongue. This is just one other example of how crazy important it is to know your devices. Not every trick works with every device. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe and most importantly, share with others and enjoy your day.